Hello everyone, welcome to my Project Ideas channel. Today we'll learn how to connect the NeoPixel Ring 24 with Arduino. This NeoPixel Ring has total 4 NeoPixels. Now let us see, first of all, what we need for this. Over here we need one Arduino Uno, a NeoPixel Ring having 24 NeoPixels, and a few connecting wires. Now let us see how to connect the circuit. So first of all, we'll connect this in pin of this new pixel ring to this three number pin of this Arduino. After it, we'll connect this power pin of it to this five volt power supply of this Arduino and the ground pin of it to this GND pin of this Arduino. And this way our circuit is ready. Now let us see our code. So this is our code over here. First of all, we have included one library for this new pixel. After it, we have included one more library to reduce the power consumption by it and after it we have declared one va uh, variable named as pin to 3. 3 is the number of this Arduino Uno pin number which to which we have connected this NeoPixel ring. Now we are using this ring variable uh, which will take these parameters 24 over here represents the total number of NeoPixels in the ring. Pin is the pin number of this Arduino Uno to which this NeoPixel ring is connected. This G over here, this GRB represents the green, red, and blue color code. And over here, this represents the 800 kilohertz frequency. Now, in this void setup function, we are beginning the ring. After this, in our loop function, over here, we are using these two functions. First is the simple function, and the second one is the cycle function. In the simple function, we are showing the same LED color in the whole ring using this function. Over here we have used uh, two for loops, one inside each. Over here this P variable will move from 0 to less than 256 that is 255. And this I variable will move from 0 to less than ring dot number of pixel. Over here it is 24. So it will move from move to 0 to 23. And we are incrementing it each in this for loop. Now the set pixel color function uh, sets the pixel color over here. These are the parameter values that will be given. First is the i. We will be taking this i from this variable using this for loop. And over here we are calling this wheel function that we have defined later on. Now in this way our simple function will work. Now in this void cycle function we are making a small change over here that is instead of the same color in this whole ring we are using different colors and we are doing it in this way we are dividing this uh, first of all we are multiplying this uh, i variable with 256 and dividing it by the number of pixels in the ring and adding this t value uh, t variable that is the first variable of this first for loop and after it, we are using this dot show function to show the colors in the ring. And using this delay function that takes a time in milliseconds. Now, in this wheel function, we have defined one more variable that is position inside this. And this position will move from, uh, let us see, from it will be from 0 to 2 double five. And we are decreasing it, first of all, from 250. And if it is less than 85, then the color will be different. We are using some sort of calculations over here. And in this way, it will work. Now, let us see how actually it will look like. So, for it, I am clicking on start simulation. As you can see, this is the first one as the simple function in which the whole ring is having almost likely the same colors. All the NeoPixels are having the same colors. And it looks so beautiful. As you can see, the colors are changing. After each 10 seconds, each new pixel colors will change. Now, this is our cycle function over here. As you can see over here, we have declared two functions. First is the simple and the second one is the cycle. So now this, this one is the cycle function's output. And it's really look beautiful. So in this way, our NeoPixel Ring 24 will work. Thank you.